What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? <sighs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <gasps> oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Surasthana for good this time! Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Oh, that makes sense! Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing! She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon? You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the Traveler's body, is... the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... I trust you. Thank you, Tainari! Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that... While I was indeed invited to join that project, the Sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansoul. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? What? Do you have any evidence? So that's what happened. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being born. Tainari, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hypatia? I did. I noticed Hypatia's mental anomalies, but since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's DI and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hypatia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but... But I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god. Looks like I made the right decision by not accepting their invitation. The Doctor and the Balladeer. We have two Fatui Harbingers in Sumeru. Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. But then... What is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermansoul? Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the Sage's goals. Right, we've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? 
What are you going to do? I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Papasia. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. May the Spirit of Wisdom go with you. Thanks, Kainari. Hopefully Hapasia will feel better soon. We're off then.